We recently counted down some of the only few times Shah Rukh Khan played a supporting role in the latter half of his career. And the thought kicked in, how many times has Sanjay Dutt played an antagonist in his career? For a leading man in Bollywood, Dutt sure has played a lot of negative characters. And I mean a lot. Some iconic and some, well, not so much. You genius! His appearance as Adhira in KGF's Chapter 2 has all of us hyped to see the beloved actor take up the mantle of the villain one more time in the near future. There's some speculation on his role in Shamshera 2 being that of a villain, but that's enough of speculation on our part. This list is meant to take a trip down memory lane and count down Dutt's most iconic negative roles yet. Before we begin, as always, please make sure to subscribe to Filmantor if you haven't already, and press the bell icon to never miss an update. With that out of the way, this is Amir, and here are 5 times Sanjay Dutt played the villain. Number 5. Musafir in 2004 for better or for worse, Musafir has been nothing more than the sum of its parts in our memories today. It's a slick action thriller looking back, something that cautiously takes away the grittiness of a film in this genre and replaces it with the traditional Sanjay Gupta flair to appeal to a larger audience. What we do remember from the movie though is Sanjay Dutt's ruthless gangster Billa opposite Anil Kapoor's Lucky. Now, provided, it's not like they both are going head to head in the movie, so it's not your quintessential villain, but the way the plot carries out, all this teases a massive fallout between the leader and his henchman who wants to quit the world of crime. The flamboyance with which Dutt carries himself in the movie, dare I say coming across even cool when killing people, was something that caught most of our attention. That look, sporting a Harley Davidson to terrorize the city and a beard that at every point looked like he just came out of a salon, has become synonymous with the actor over the years. Oh, and who can forget that knife we all wanted to play with so badly back in the days? Number 4. Panipat in 2019 Director Ashutosh Kubarikar's 2019 historical epic Panipat left a lot to be desired, especially in the lead protagonist area. Arjun Kapoor, an actor who has been unable to sustain a consistent applaud for his film since his debut, was casted as the film's main character and quite comfortably came across as the least inspiring one. Viewers criticized the casting, citing his bland dialogue delivery, his facial expressions, or a lack thereof, and the fact that he was pitted against the magnificent Sanjay Dutt as Ahmad Shah Abdali in the film. As it stands, Panipat was the last time we saw Dutt playing a villain on screen, and he bloody well impressed us all one more time. Unlike Musafir though, there was nothing flamboyant about his Abdali. A foreigner trying to conquer the lands of the Indian subcontinent, Gwarikar's villain was unlike all Muslim villains we've been accustomed to expect from these historical epics in the last few years, in that it's not an out-and-out -out baddie that gets to play. Abdali was shown to be a political schemer, with a sense of compassion in him and a strict moral compass to adhere to. His presence commands respect and, more importantly, fear. Abdali is a breath of fresh air in an otherwise average film, and Sanjay Dutt proves to be the film's major saving grace. Number 3. Vastav the Reality in 1999 Now we know Raghu was the main guy in the film, so he's not a quintessential villain. But he sure as hell is a negative character, an anti-hero if you will. Although, it's rather best to not call him anything that has hero in it. Sanjay Dutt's portrayal of Raghu in Vastav still remains to be one of his career-defining roles, and for good reason. The way he carried himself in the film, shedding away any iota of stardom he was carrying by the time this movie released in 1999, was a commendable job. Vastav is the story of a common guy who accidentally finds himself embroiled in the underworld only to go deeper and deeper within, to eventually become one of the most notorious hitmen in the city. It won't be too far-fetched to call his portrayal of Raghu as Dutt's most influential performance ever, with most of his dialogues going on to become iconic in the pop culture and literally inspiring his look-alikes on the streets in early 2000s. Number 2. Agnipat in 2012 the 2012 remake of the 1990 Amitabh Bachchan starter by the same name saw Hrithik Roshan play the main protagonist this time in pursuit of revenge for his father's death at the hands of Kancha China, a role Sanjay Dutt adapted from the original played by Danny Denzongpa and made it absolutely his own. 
since the 2012 version of the film, for all practical reasons, was more like an adaptation rather than a straightforward remake, it gave Dutt more creative liberty to take Kancha where he naturally felt like. As a result, while Den Zongpa's rendition of the classic villain saw a more classy business-centric approach in terms of his appearance, Dutt's portrayal went all out in turning him into a monster with no redeeming qualities whatsoever. With a hairless head including his shaven off eyebrows, a bulky Frankenstein-like body, and a menacing devil-like smile, Dutt's Kancha China walked the part he talked to, easily making him one of the most memorable antagonists of the past decade. And number 1, Kalnayak in 1993. Kalnayak translates to villain. Need we say more? The movie, despite having a lead pair in actors like Madhuri Dixit and Jackie Shroff, revolved around the troubled titular character played by Dutt and instantly made him a force to be reckoned with in the industry. The first time Dutt played a negative role on screen, Kalnayak's success had a lot to do with the actor's personal life events at the time of the film's release, which even saw Dutt getting sentenced to time in jail for illegal possession of arms. And it all came down to the release of this film, which quite cleverly used the circumstances surrounding the actor to mark Market the film in a way never before seen in the industry. Despite the protests and the controversy surrounding it, Subhash Ghai's Kalnaik went on to become the second highest grosser of the year 1993, and most of that credit goes to the intrigue surrounding Dutt's public image going forward the film quite blatantly relied on. Hundred percent, sir. My Kalnaik or Abnaik. Abna Abna Dhunda is Sarkar. Dono Imandari se karte hain. And there you have it guys, 5 times Sanjay Dutt played the villain. Did we miss any other noteworthy films from our list? Let us know in the comment section down below. Ek goli dali, paanch khali, sir pe tani, khopdi khali. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure to subscribe to Filmantar for more exciting content ahead. With that out of the way, I hope you have a safe week ahead. My name is Amir and I will see you soon.